Alright, hey guys, it's me, Meteor Game, with part 10 of Star Fox Adventures. Before we move any words, since we're back here, may as well just show off this one thing I forgot to show off when we were first here. Take a bomb spore, place it there. Okay. Near the end of the waterfall, it's kind of hidden, so that's probably why I forgot about it. Take out your blaster, which I need to assign. There we go. And... Blast that puppy. That's right, you say, yeah, that's right. So then we go over here, and, of course... You will see four, four of these fuel cells. So that's four, that's one tenth of the way to your goal already. And if you haven't noticed already by now, for the past like five episodes, I'm I was actually went down five fuel cells from before. That's because each time we take off, you use a certain amount of fuel cells. So I actually took away five for me. So that means I would actually need to be at thir thirty seven, not forty two anymore, to actually get to my goal. So then, heading back over here, you'll see this little fire tree. I passed it then and I. You'll see this fire tree. Whack him with your staff. Uh, darn it. Whack him with your staff. And... This is a fireweed. It may come in use to help the Thorntails. Yes, you'll only use it once. You'll never see it again. So, whack it. Grab it. Whack it. Whack it. Grab it. There we go. All three you need. You only need three, you don't need any more. No more, no less. Thou shalt counteth to three. Anyway, just put fireweed there. Well, it actually goes on the top. Then get tricky. And use your flame. Flame on, whatever. Just let him do that in the meantime. Yep, you hear that sound, that means you did it right, correctly. So, then you go over to the second one. See, I don't understand how these three beacons, which don't even seem to light too much, are all they need to actually, you know, light their way and to make them not afraid of the dark. I mean, it doesn't really make much sense. I mean, it seems off that these things right here, those little magic jewels, actually give out more light than these beacons, but who am I to judge? Whatever. Take another one. Fireweed. Tricky. Use flame. And while you're doing that, I'm going to go over here, grab some magic while you go ahead and breathe fire on that. Alright. And looks like you're actually hungry. So, actually, uh, wait. There we go. Man, I'm running low on these. I just need to actually grab some more. How do I run? How do I get so low on these? I don't understand. Ah oh, well. And then the last one is over here. That one play. Ooh, ooh. Need, need, need these. Give me them. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Where are you? Where are you? Dang it, jerk. I don't want to play right now, Tricky. You're already a cool enough color. You don't need to play anymore. You will not play anymore for the rest of the game, so take that. And of course, like I said before, last light beacon is right here. Ooh, free. Since you're asleep. I like when they're asleep. And they don't have to bother me. Last fireweed. Tricky, do your thing. Let's see if I can find any more mushrooms while you're doing that. I don't see any more mushrooms around here. The beacons mean so much to my tribe. Please take this. I believe it will help you on your quest. This is the Moon Pass key. It will allow you to open the gateway that leads to the Volcano Force Point Temple. So let's go ahead back over there. What we had to do is go to the right, to the right of that one cave we entered to get the white grub tub. We're going to go to the right of that. Just avoid those sleeping guys, and let's just hit these guys one more time for the road. No, I didn't want to hit. That's what I get trying to hit you, I guess. Okay, I, I get it. Bruh! That's what makes me go into a cutscene, you jerk. Give me one of these. Should be another one over here. Give me one of these. And one over here. Alright. I think we're good for now. We're good again. Alright, we're back up to double digits for extra tricky things. Whatever. Back here. Wait, no, not back here. Back here. We have... No, I thought there was... Eh, whatever. Just carrying another bomb spore here. I thought there was an extra... What is it? An extra fuel cell there, but I guess not. I guess I might have already grabbed it, maybe. I don't remember if I did or not. Either way, just explode it. I don't get... I could either be really close and not get hurt, or I could be far away and still get hurt. I never understood how you could actually avoid taking damage from that, but... Eh, whatever. Just fall down here. And first you want to go to the right, because on both these sides, no matter where you go, there's going to be a fuel cell you could grab. Well, I almost died there, actually. You'll see a little health meter there. 
in my little vitality meter. Just ignore that, that's not really necessary because, well, if you somehow manage to die here, you're stupid. And if you miss that, I actually grabbed a fuel cell there. So, after you grab that fuel cell, you're gonna go down here and go back the other way. This way, you're gonna go to Moon Pass. So, jump there, jump there, and go up here. Ooh, this looks pretty. All these little interesting plants I've never seen before. Where's the uh, where's the fuel cell? Where ah, there it is. There you're hiding. All right. So up to 28. We need exactly nine more. Nine more, and we'll be done with the fuel cell quest. So we don't have to get any more or go out of our way to do anything else. So that's awesome. All right. So as you go over here, wait. You're awake. Whatever. I still grabbed you, so that's all that matters. I need some health. Kind of creepy. It sounds like actually a beached whale or something in here. Eh, whatever. You see this little cutscene here. Wanker! Somebody coming! More barrels! So you gotta get to the top without dying from these barrels. I haven't actually gotten past here one time without getting hit by the barrels once. I don't think it's physically possible to get up here without dying from the barrels at least. Yep, I got hit by the barrels, no big deal. I mean, they're kind of, you know, it's not really pointless. They'll do like maybe half a damage, if that. Looks like they only do one unit of damage, so that's not even, not even a big deal at all. Just get some health here. And unlock this key with your little key. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. You need to use some WD-40 on that gate or something, seriously. I mean, it looks like you could use some really badly. Either way, uh, let's see. Yeah, go around here. Because if you look over there, well, not there. That's not what I'm looking at. Look over there, you'll see one of those gates where you'll see how they can defeat enemies. So, go up here. And, ooh, look, another fuel cell. Hey, let's go ahead and grab that before we do anything else. All right, so you have 30 fuel cells. You need seven more. We need seven more fuel cells, and we're good. Now these are the second kind of these are the second kind of guys you're going to be facing. These guys here are, you know, just slightly more health than the normal ones, and they have an axe. They don't have, they don't defend any better than these guys do. In fact, they're even slower than these guys, so that might actually be easier in some regard. Come on, I need that puck puck egg. I need the puck puck egg. Give me it. Where'd it go? There it is. Sound of the floor waiting for me. And you don't need to worry about those little crates or barrels. Well, this crate you need to worry about, but the barrels or the vases or whatever you want to call them, all they're going to contain are scarabs. They're already at max scarabs, so it doesn't matter anyway. In fact, I could probably just buy enough fuel cells so we don't have to go. Do, we don't have to do any more of those questing anymore anyway. But meh, I'm just going to do it regardless. So here we're going to be in the Firepoint Temple, and here we are already. Now I see these little platforms here. They're going to move in and out. Jump, 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 be quick. Seriously, be, Jack be number jump, be quick. Jack jumped over to flame pile of lava or something. Now, you'll see this little sign telling you to go that way. I was just going down here, because otherwise you're going to go up against the locked gate if you go left. So, yeah, just avoid these little fire keys, as I like to call them, because they look exactly like fire keys. So, I mean, what else could they really be? Next step, go up here. Take your staff booster. And unlock this gate here. This is the only gate you can open at the moment. So, just go up here, grab the Bafom Dad thing, and be on your way. Open this box, get some health. Yay, we're at full health again. Yay. And you don't want to go to the left because it'll take you somewhere that will be up to another locked gate. You want to go here. So just walk up this path. Go to the left. And you are on your way out of here. So, that's awesome. Don't, don't worry about going down there, it's just fire. You want to hurt yourself, by all means, jump in there. I mean, who am I to judge? But yeah, it's just not going to get you anywhere if you try jumping down there without that. I wonder how much time we're at right now. We're about eh, a little under 10 minutes, I suppose. Eh? Alright, fair enough. I'll just grab you. I'll grab you. I'm not going to worry about the other one. You're safe. You're free from Tricky's evil mouth. 
And you'll see this little part here. This is where you want to use the spell sun right here. Not placing it yet. I have to say, the Fire Flame Temple is actually kind of cool. I actually like this place a lot. You'll see another guy here. This guy actually has a shield, if you see. If you actually... You know how sometimes the grunts actually hold out their weapon as a shield almost? If this guy actually defends against you in the defending stance, because of his shield, he is literally impossible to attack even if you attack him while he's about to attack. He's impressed like that. Now for this flame, for this part here, you want to shoot the flame at the orb with the exact color it is. That one's a green orb, you want to take out your staff. You need to go a little bit further back. Take out your staff. Green. Shoot it. And you will open that. So, then you're going to take out your spell stone again, and use it. And then here you will fight four enemies, as you see here. You don't see any enemies yet. You go to the gate, turn around, up oh, there they are! See, this is what I'm talking about. You can't actually attack, even if you attack them when they're about to attack you, it's not going to work. So you have to actually back them with, let them run at you, and then attack them. That's all you have to do. See, watch this. See? Oh, I guess you could actually. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. I thought... I tried doing it before and it was impossible. Oh, well, I guess these guys just suck a lot. Oh, well. They just have slightly more HP and they look bigger. Bark's much worse than their bite, I suppose. Just like, uh... Bull... Whatever the crap that boss was that we took down that was incredibly easy. It took out about, like, maybe a minute. I don't know how long it took to defeat that guy, but... Eh, whatever. So you take down the gate, and you will continue on. Alright, making good progress here. I'm actually going here a lot quicker than I thought I would. Alright. Of course, you'll see this. Tricky, use flame. I'll be over here, getting some... Well, actually, I'm at full health. Don't even need that. You will raise the platform. It's going to go in and out every so often, so... Meh. Or something. Tricky, see... I s Why do you always have to say that? I, I see it. It's not like I'm blind. I mean, come on. I guess that's good if you're, um, if, because I remember that one, one guy who actually, um, beat Ocarina of Time completely blind. That was impressive. I mean, sure, he got a lot of help from his friends, but even still, that takes, that takes a lot of skill to do. It takes a lot of dedication and time. Uh, either way, aside from that, just walk, ooh, give me. Gimme did I What the heck? How did I miss like every single time? I don't even know. I missed like maybe five times trying to hit that thing. That is pathetic. Either way, just grab these cells, little crystals, I'm at full magic anyway, doesn't matter. But you will need as much magic as you can get later. You will see why. Alright, we have as many of those as we can get now. Hooray! Come on. Alright, jump, jump, pretty jump. And you want to go across this one too. I believe this one actually goes in and out every so often. Yep. I did it right in time. Go in this door here, and you will guess it. You're going to have another staff upgrade here. The cave of something and other is where we are at right now. Something or whatever. Whatever whatever I said last time. Just take out your staff. Oh, you don't have to press A. You don't have to do anything. Just press A. You have collected the Ice Blast. Use it to douse flames and freeze bad guys. Access the C inventory and press A to use it. You can also assign it to Y for instant access. I would highly suggest setting it to Y for now because you will be using this in this little dungeon place for a long time. So just assign it to Y. And it's not what you think it is. I mean, okay, you take out your staff. You think it's going to be like the blaster, right? No, it's like a flamethrower thing. Except it's ice. Which is an ice thrower. Ice... Let's just say it's compressed air. Compressed uh, li liquid nitrogen. There we go. That that's work. That's what it is. You're just using liquid nitrogen. Douse out the flames. Watch out. This is probably gonna go in my when I jump on it. Oh, guess not. All right, that works. Then I suggest jumping down, going up that ladder to save a lot of time. Well, hopefully we could go down there if we actually douse out these flames, Tricky. Go here, douse out that flame. Alright, so far so good. Whoa, whoa, how the heck did that happen? I 
take out this flame too. Alright, so then we are going to go down here, whatever this will bring, but of course, that takes it about 15 minutes, so we will actually be heading down here next time, so see you then.